Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use template specialization with class templates. So let's get started. So I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I'm going to create a class template. So I will create a template and this will have the class T, capital T. And then I'm going to make a class. And I will name it as care finder class, for example. Okay. And this is just going to have a public constructor. So I'm just going to take make a constructor and I will initialize this constructor as T. And what I'm going to do in this constructor is I'm just going to print some message. I'm just going to print C out and I'm going to print um, A and then is a valid or is not a not a valid care okay and I'm going to end line this is the simple class which uh, is a template class and T is the data type here and suppose I want to specialize uh, a template class a specialization means you re you can redefine a class to specialize in some particular data type okay so for example I want to specialize uh, my care finder class uh, in order to find a character or specialize in character so what I can do is I can just redefine my class but I can say C++ that I want to uh, specialize my other class which has the same name with a character specialization and how you can make this other class uh, as a character specialization template class you just need to remove this um, in this template declaration you just need to remove any declaration in the in the angle brackets okay so just leave this template and uh, these angle bracket blank and this says C++ that we are going to uh, make this class as a specialization of some class and how we can uh, specialize our class we can just specialize our class by giving or specifying the specific uh, data type to a value so now this will not be t but for example care okay care a and now a is a valid character right so in this way you can specialize your class in or in a particular for or for a particular data type right so this is for general template and this is a class template which specializes in character data type okay and in order to use this uh, class what we can do here is we can uh, I'll just make it a little bit concise so that we can see all the code and what we can do we can uh, declare the instance of our class and in the bracket we can say uh, care and when you give here care it says that you are going to define the specialization instance of the class so I can just define care uh, CHA with or CHA1 with uh, a character. So this character 
can be capital A for example and once again I am going to copy this and I am going to paste this but instead of care for example I use int and int can be 23 for example or float and float can be 23.44 and let's see what happens. I will just compile my program and hopefully it will not give any error. And it's giving error. Let's see what's the error. Yeah, so error here is whenever you uh, leave these uh, template angle bracket uh, blank, you need to tell the data type to this class in which you are specializing so you need to give here angle bracket and then here you need to write the data type in which you need to specialize your class so leave this uh, this template angle bracket blank but after your class name you just need to give the data type which is care in our our case right so compile the program and then it's yeah so this instance has to be different here different uh, variable name of instance name right and hopefully it will compile this time and it's compiled and I will run it and this time it says a is a valid char 23 is not a valid char, 23.44 is not a valid char. So what it has done, when you define this uh, instance of char finder class uh, in specialized in character, which is this one, then it goes to this class, right? Because this char or this class specialized in character class so it, when you declare here care your instance will know that it's a specialization of this template class so it will print this message it will implement this class implementation or otherwise in any other condition it will take a t as a data type and it will go to this class which is our general template class right so in this way you can specialize your class in order to perform a certain task for a particular data type. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.